welcome back to my channel. I'm Candace. I'm Mom. And we have a little grocery haul to show you. So last week we did Aldi and this week we are doing Walmart. We like to go between Aldi, Walmart, and Kroger. And I just placed a Walmart order the other day. And then we went back today and got some things. <laughs> More things than we needed. More things than we needed, so we figured why not do a haul. Um, I want to show you some zero point stuff that we use basically weekly to keep us on track. Well, and when I say we, I mean me. <laughs> I'm on track too sometimes. But I'm trying to get my whole household to eat better and feel better, and this is um, a good way to do it. And you do the WW Blue Plan. Yes, all the point values I tell you are for Weight Watchers for the Blue Plan. Um, so if you are following a different plan, then you'll need to factor up those points yourself. I've seen uh, a lot of success on WW, formerly Weight Watchers, and I really love watching haul videos. And from the response from my last video, my haul video, you all like it too. So yep. let's jump right into it. Okay. I really like to get the uh, fat free shredded cheese, uh, the cheddar, and the mozzarella. <laughs> so these, uh, you can have a quarter cup for no points. Uh, you can add more, I, mean, I think a, a half a cup is like one point, so it's not bad at all. Then they're definitely a staple in our house for sure and they melt up really good they yeah, taste really good they're very good i mean honestly they're like tasty. I, just because they're fat free doesn't mean they're not good so we use that all the time something we've been using a lot of lately is the hidden valley ranch seasoning so we've been buying like the packets you know you can buy those packets and we i was finding that we were using a packet like almost every day so I just decided to buy the big uh, container of it. A quarter of a teaspoon is no points, and usually I just sprinkle it on yeah. something, so I don't use a whole lot anyway per serving. So I checked this as no points, and I've been using it for a while. So um, we got, which I didn't film this, but we got a bunch of chicken breasts at yes. the store. And what we did was we cut those breasts in half and pounded them out, and we put some seasoning on it, and Put, stuck them in the freezer in a freezer bag so we can just pull it out of a morning put it in the fridge let it thaw out it's ready for the yeah it's to cook it's ready to cook every night we can grill it or we can just take it out of the freezer pop it in the crock pot yeah and that's good have it over rice or you know whatever so i'm experimenting with a lot of seasonings i think when you do, like when you start cooking at home a lot more and you're committed to a new lifestyle, you learn a different way of eating and a different way of preparing your food. So, like I said, we're experimenting with all these different seasonings and stuff and just trying to see what we like. Um, and so I'll show you what we got. So, um, the big seasonings, I got um, Grill Mates by McCormick Barbecue Seasoning. I figured that'd be good. Um, Instead of using barbecue sauce, because <laughs> to season the chicken. yeah, barbecue sauce can be kind of high in points unless you use the G Hughes. Yeah, the sugar free yeah. barbecue. Yeah, we sauce. really like those sauces. Mm -hmm. those so are good. they have a variety of them. Oh too. yeah, they have all kinds. They have like a honey. No, they have like a sweet honey, honey mustard. They have um, ginger. They have marinades like teriyaki yeah. marinades. I mean, they have all kinds of stuff. So that's another thing that we always have in the fridge is the barbecue sauce. And then we'll get the marinades a lot of times too. So this is just a little something extra. Maybe put this on our chicken to uh, with some olive oil to marinate it. And then we don't have to use barbecue sauce. And then I got um, this Montreal chicken seasoning. Um, I kind of want to make um, chicken, ground chicken burgers. That sounds good. Yeah. Uh, so we use the Montreal steak seasoning with beef when we make burgers. It's really good. So I thought, well, I'll try this out. And I don't really know how much different it is. It might be the same stuff. They just put a different name on it. So you buy it twice. Probably. <laughs> but, you know. But I thought this looked good. And um, we, I can have uh, like the ground chicken breast for no points on WW. So I thought that and this and fry it up. And there's a burger or turkey, ground yeah, turkey or ground burgers. turkey. I like so, turkey burgers. You know, figured we'll try these out. We haven't opened them yet. Um, and we got some of the packets of the McCormick seasoning. We did use um the wine and herb. It was really good. Yes, wine and herb. it was really good. We had that on. 
Saturday night, Friday night or Saturday night, I can't remember. It's all, this weekend's all been a blur because it's been a holiday weekend and so, you know, you blink and it's over and I go back to work tomorrow, yippee. Um, so we already used that one and we used another one. I can't remember which one it was. But I also got um, chipotle pepper marinade mix seasoning packet. I think it was bourbon something. It was. It was bourbon. It's still in the freezer, so we might have that tomorrow night. So we'll let you know how that one is. One thing we're trying to do too is cut back on red meat. Yes, we're trying to eat more chicken and you know pork turkey. Chops. Pork. We're having pork chops tonight, which I'm gonna film a cook with me and show you all how I'm gonna make that. So we also have tomato, garlic, and basil, and zesty herb. So another thing that we got, I was out of this. This is um, basically like spray butter for your popcorn. Mm, that's really good too. Yeah. We make homemade popcorn. I got the little popcorn maker from WW. Just take um, like two tablespoons of the kernels and stick it in that and put it in the microwave and it'll pop. I use the um, movie theater butter spray and then we have, they have like all kinds of seasonings too, yes. this kernel seasoning My spray. is the white cheddar. Oh yeah, I um, like the kettle corn. Mm. It's really good and there's no points in that either. So the popcorn is like three points for a heaping tub of popcorn. Yeah, I mean you can make it at home. Put some uh, butter on it, movie theater butter or seasoning that you like, and pop in a movie and have your own movie night. Yeah, we really like to do that, but and I've been out of this, so I had to pick this up. So I thought I would show you guys. It's no points, so it's awesome. So we also got some um, bacon bits, real bacon bits, reduced sodium. Uh, Mom likes to watch her yeah, sodium. I've got to watch my salt intake. <laughs> she has a lot of fluid retention sometimes. High so, blood pressure. Yeah. So we like to watch uh, the sodium if we can. So I picked these up. They are only one point for a tablespoon. I made bacon this morning and I have some bacon grease left and then I got these. So I thought, well, I'll cook up those Brussels sprouts with our um, pork chops. That That'll be good. good. We um, have been trying to get more of the like drink enhancers, little things you squeeze in your water. Uh, I got sweet tea, southern sweet tea, and then mom got uh, cherry Kool-Aid. <laughs> you know, and, hey, it's fun. These are no points, uh, and it helps me get my water in because plain water can be kind of gross, I think. Yeah. And, I mean, sometimes it's okay and your body sometimes just needs just it. Need a little kick. <laughs> so you just need a little kick. And when you can't drink vodka because it's 8 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> you can use these. So I'll yeah. let you all know because I'm excited to try this sweet tea one. We apparently wanted some chips. Yeah, well, we stacked up all the chips today. Yes. So here's the thing. I'm really not going to eat the regular chips, but Mom loves these lightly salted chips. Yes, by Lay's. So, like I said, we have to watch her salt not intake. Sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. Lay's, you can totally sponsor me. Um, so we got the regular lightly salted. Yes. And I did look up the points on these to so where, you know, I might have some. They're five points for 15 chips. I guess if I was feeling really, really desperate one day and I needed some chips, I would eat them. That's not too bad. And they're low, low salt, so that's always good for us. And then we got the barbecue ones as well. And these are dangerous for me because I've been known to eat a whole bag in one sitting. Because <laughs> um, they're really good. But same thing, five points for 15 chips. So Not the whole bag. Yeah, and the whole bag is eight servings. So when I wonder why... <laughs> I am the way I am and I am the weight that I am. The fact that I could eat this whole bag and eat 40 points in one sitting and I thought I was doing okay because they're lightly salted. Yeah. Um, I was wrong and I'm, I'm learning that. So anyway, there's that. Um, so I got some of these pop chips. Um, I've not had them before. Donald helped himself to one earlier. Whatever. Um, they are three points for a bag. So, that's a decent size bag yeah, though, really. A, that's a regular size bag. Yeah, and I mean, chips, snack chips. Yeah, and hopefully they're good. We'll, we'll find out, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but I figured this is a good thing I can pack in my lunches and um, still stay on track. And then we got the poppables. Yes, now the poppables, I love the Lay's, hashtag not sponsored, poppables chips. We got sea salt. I discovered these a while back and um, we've been buying them for a while now. They are five points, same as the other ones, but <laughs> with these, you get 
30 chips for five points versus 15. So you get double for the same amount of points. So mm, these are good. Yeah, and they're really good. They're addicting too. So I really am gonna have to portion these out because I'll get myself in trouble. But mom picked these out at Walmart today, the chocolate uh, rice cakes. Yes. You wanna tell them why? Yeah, um, so we watched Home with Haley and she does the green plan on WW, I believe. Mm -hmm. And she was showing what she has like for a snack. So she showed that she gets these, the chocolate uh, rice cakes by Quaker. And what she'll do is she puts some peanut butter on top of it with some chocolate chips, if you want chocolate chips on it. And I haven't tried it yet, but I plan on doing that maybe tonight. And it looks so good that I wanted to try it, so. Yeah, and my hope is, like, we watch a lot of stuff like that. And they're two points. Yeah, they're two points on blue, so FYI. And I think uh, rice cakes have probably come a long way. <laughs> they have, because I remember eating them. <laughs> yeah, when you did Weight Watchers. I did Weight Watchers way, way back in the day, <laughs> probably the, um, in the 80s, early 90s. And, it, I mean, it's so much different. We had plain rice cakes, and it was like eating styrofoam. <laughs> There was no flavor, nothing. They don't have, they didn't have all the flavors like they do now. All different kinds of flavors. You know, actually, I did lose weight on Weight Watchers. That was the only thing I ever lost weight on. Mm -hmm. Weight Watchers is the only thing that I've ever lost weight on too. So, here we are. So, we also got some Fiber One bars. Oh, these are delicious. <laughs> yeah. So, we've yeah. already cracked into these, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so, we got the um, lemon bars and then the, the brownie brownies. bars oh this is so good. and these are only two points a piece and they're really good especially if you heat them up also um something i get every time pretty much i run out is the velveta cheese slices this is just the american cheese basically um and those are good too these are good they're only one point so uh we had sandwiches earlier for lunch and i was able to eat it on a really nice ciabatta bun with some chicken breasts that I got at the deli and then a piece of this cheese and it's fine. I was able to have real bread <laughs> because I, you know, and got, had some chips because I cut down my points on my chicken breast and my cheese. So, so we picked up some yogurt at uh, Walmart. We got the light peach uh, and, Greek yogurt and the light Greek vanilla. Yeah. So we haven't tried these yet. We'll uh, probably give these a shot maybe tomorrow. I usually they're like, two points. yeah, they're only two points a piece. So I usually like to have this, maybe a little granola in it and some blueberries or, you know, strawberries, whatever fruit I have. And that's uh, what I've been eating for breakfast of the morning. And since it's Greek yogurt, it really fills me up till lunch. And if not, I'll maybe have like some grapes or something to hold me over. So uh, we got these potatoes from Little Potato Company. It's a, like a, it's a three pound bag. Um, and you can have six of these potatoes for three points. So that's quite a bit because they are small, but you really chop, you really cut them up into like, you know, yeah, half yeah. or four. Little smaller pieces. Yeah. So, I mean, the fact that you can have six of them, um, that's really for good. only three points, that's pretty good. And if you're on purple, you don't count potatoes. So you could have these for no points. We got some, uh, salsa con queso because contrary to what you might think. Yeah. Who thought you could have this? <laughs> Yeah, it's only one point for two tablespoons. Now the kicker here That's is pretty good. two tablespoons. <laughs> so you're going to want to measure that out. I don't know that it's really going to be enough to really dip a lot in. Uh, but my plan with it is to put it over um, like maybe potatoes. Oh, that'd be good on a baked potato. Yeah, like on a baked potato. Or when we do Mexican food, which we love doing taco night and stuff here. I will just put a little, put two tablespoons on my nachos or put, you know, some on my tacos. And so that's awesome. So I'm really excited about this. And we love coffee. Yes. We drink coffee every day. Yes. And we are in love with the sugar-free creamers. Mm -hmm. Our favorite is the Italian sweet cream, sugar-free. Um, it's hard to find though. 
sometimes. Yeah, I mean, harder to find. honestly, I wish that more stores would step up their game with sugar-free creamer because we're lacking. I mean, it is hard to find. Yeah, there needs to be more varieties for sugar. -free. Maybe it's just where we live. I don't know, but there's just not a lot of sugar-free creamer options. So we really like this Italian sweet cream, and then we I also like French the vanilla, French vanilla, um, because you know. How many points is that? Uh, this is no points for uh, a tablespoon. So I think two tablespoons is one point. Last but not least, y'all. Well, let me tell you. Uh, Nick and Jake, we uh, started following them and watching them uh, probably a couple weeks ago around the first of the year. Yeah. So they're both on WW and they do the purple plan. And I get a lot of really good ideas from them. These are life changing. These are Cleo, I think is how you say it. Um, Greek yogurt bars. So vanilla and then strawberry. They are delicious. Well, we had, we, we ate one of yeah, the vanilla. We tried the vanilla one earlier when, cause literally when we got to the car, I opened it. Yeah, because we had to try it. I was like, I have to try this, Mom. I have to. And so, <laughs> we tried it, and it was like, oh, it's shit. It's just like eating a piece of cheesecake. It's it's just like cheesecake goodness covered in chocolate. Yeah, and, and you can have that. Yeah, I mean, and you know, if you had a piece of cheesecake, because we were talking in the car, and I'm like, well, if you had a piece of cheesecake, like the Cheesecake Factory, you're starting out at probably about 20 points. And I mean, they're good. I mean, they're smaller, but they're... It's just good enough. Size. It's, per yeah. it's perfect enough to help your sweet tooth and not get you off track. Now, yeah. the thing is, is I wouldn't have known this had Nick and Jake not said it, but these scan as five points. So when you put it in your app, it's five points. However, if you do the nutrition information on the back, they are actually six points. So Weight Watchers, um, you got to help us here because... Once I start losing more weight and have less and less points, one point could mean a big difference to some people. Uh, I really try to track everything I eat, and, you know, it's good to know that these are actually six points instead of five. But even at six points, to me, they're still worth it. It's worth it. They're good, and they're going to help cure that sweet tooth mm -hmm. and make you feel like you're not on a diet. And that's my favorite thing about WW is... I don't feel like I'm on a diet a lot of times. I feel like I'm just eating what I want to eat and I'm just portioning it out, which I think that's the key is portion control. Yes. That, you know, I'm learning more so than anything. But we're done for tonight. I think we're gonna hop over to the kitchen and work on our dinner. And I am gonna film that too. So you're gonna have another cook with me this week and plus this haul. So let me know down below if there's any video ideas you want me to do. I'm kind of trying to find my place here in YouTube and you know, I love to do makeup, I love shopping, doing all the things, thrifting, I've recently taken up thrifting, but I just feel like Weight Watchers and like what I eat and what I do regarding that is probably going to be my little niche, I guess you would say. Uh, so hopefully you all like that, if not, I'm sorry. Uh, but give me some video ideas down below and please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends. So I will <laughs> see you all on my next video. Bye! Bye.